Greetings YouTubers, this is Darby here and today we're in the dark room and we are going to work with our enlarger and we're going to talk about test strips, uh, filters, uh, negative carriers, um, timers, we're going to do all that stuff and I'm going to show you in the light and I'm going to try to show you a little bit in the dark. So let me turn this camera over here. So we have here our enlarger here, let me bring you back. So we have our enlarger on this side here. We have a handle. And we have the gears. I'm gonna buzz by all that because most of you guys know that stuff. Um, so here we are. We have our filter. As you can see, it's got a number on the side there that's two. We have our negative. The shiny side is on top, and then the other way you can tell that is it bows a little bit. So the shiny side's on top, and we have our negative carrier here. Our negative carrier. I'm sorry that our lighting is so dim here in the dark room. Um, so let's get started here. So we have our timer. So our timer. Right here is how you change the time. Right here is right here would be 10 seconds. Here's one second. This little toggle switch here allows you to set the focus. So this will allow you to have the light on and adjust the settings of the enlarger. When you're ready, flick that up, and then you hit this button here and that the times your exposure. So I'm gonna set it here for, let's say three seconds, okay? So the next thing we'll be doing is using that. So let's back this up a bit. Set my larger up here. All right, so let's turn on white. See where we're at here, I'll move the easel in line here. I'll take my larger, pop this open. This is not what I want. This is what I want. So we got the shiny side up top. And then larger. So just slide this right here in the screws, the screw heads. Close this down. Make sure it's right exactly where we want my picture to be. And then we're going to open up the larger up top here. Slide this in like so. You guys can see that. And then push that down. There we go. I'll take this out here so you can see this a little bit better. And then we are going to be working roughly. Let's see, let's adjust this a bit. Oh, the negative's in the wrong spot. Let's slide that. So now we have a little bit clearer image. And I'll put that like this. So we know it's going to be a 4x5. This is my easel here. Can you see that thing there? There we go. There's the easel. So I have that right there. Okay. So what happens is basically we're going to take a piece of photo paper. I'm going to pop it here. And we are going to have this shut off. And so what's going to happen, we're going to hit the timer, it's going to click, it's going to roll, and then we'll process. But first we're going to do a test strip, so we'll make sure we know exactly how much time we need. So, okay, we'll come back from the dark room. I'd like to pause the video now. Change the camera settings so it was kind of grayish blue. Nice. Either way, so I hit down the focus, make sure that the picture is going to be right where we want it. So we'll move that in there. And with the test strip, the test strip does two important things. One, it tells us the exposure time we need for the light which time is correct. And then the other thing it does is saves and conserves paper. You don't want to run this and then basically overexpose your print and then it's wrong and then you waste paper. So right here we're going to look, let's see, we have a nice range of value either right here at the bottom or through here because we have, we're looking for a range so we can see that all the value change. So I'm going to put this here and I'm thinking the range is best on the bottom here. 
So I'm going to memorize right here is the corner that, uh, of the picture of the easel here. So I'm going to shut that off. I'm going to put my shiny side up and my motion side up on the paper right there. I'm going to take this matte board, this basic matte board, cover up the image. Blast it for three seconds. Pick up the mat board. Blast it for another three seconds. So that means this is uh, three seconds, that's six seconds. Because, you know, the time it adds together. So move this here. So now we have nine, six, and three. And this is our last one. So the last possible one over here in the stones. And this size is going to be three seconds, six, nine, twelve. And then I'll go take it over to the developer and we'll see exactly what kind of image we have. So we'll hit this pause button here and be right back. All right, so now we're back here and you can barely see this in uh, the light here, but basically this is our test, test print, test strip. And so there is, this was the last one, this was the second to last, they're the last, and this was last. So we can see the values. And here, you can when you look at it in person, you can see the strips of uh, value a lot easier. Um, but I'm thinking the best was the last amount, the three seconds. So that's what I'm gonna expose this uh, print to. We're gonna do a print, um, and then we're gonna do a print with a filter and see how those turn out. Be back. All right, everybody, so here is my paper. Let's test. In the right spot, so that's correct. I'm gonna pop my picture down there, my uh, paper. Blast that for my three seconds, because that's what we decided was accurate. Take this, and that will go off. We'll put that in the developer. Uh, grab my other paper here. This time with the paper here, and the shiny side right here. I'm gonna rip. This is what I like to do. I just like to rip the corner off and then put that there. And that's going to, that ripped corner is going to distinguish uh, that I've decided to use a filter there it's just for this test. I don't do that with my ones I'm trying to uh, turn in. So I put the filter on there and then hit the button. As you, you cannot tell from this video, but the color has actually changed to filter made this more magenta. Um, so now I'm going to develop this and I'll be back with the results. Alright, welcome back. Now, while we're letting those other prints dry, I want to show you what I've done earlier this week. Uh, this one is without the filter, and this one is with the filter. As you can see, uh, we have a uh, far better color up here value range, where this is kind of washed out. This one has more of that definition, that, sh that shine and sheen of a car. Um, and we also have some deeper blacks here than we do over here. So up in the corners as well. All right, so it might not be, if the filter isn't gonna fix everything, but it does improve things quite a bit. So let's move over to our current photo. There's that one. And here's this one. Okay, and this one right here, as you can see, the ribbed corner. So this was our filter, and this one wasn't our filter. Well, the first thing I do want to point out is the rocks over here on the filter that will have more dark definition in them. Um, the texture, there's some really nice texture here in the tree. The bark is a little deeper, a little darker than it is over here. Um, and that, we used a, a filter number two, so if we wanted to push that more, maybe we'd use a three or four, just basically uh, helping that image um, decide whether it wanted to be dark or light, or those uh, negatives. If you have any questions, let me know.